What is up, everybody? Angry World Cup Gaming here. We're back with another episode of the Valencia Career Mode. You guys didn't check out last episode. We finished season number one. Yes, I tried to finish everything in season one, uh, about season one in last episode. That was actually a kind of like a little bit of a quick episode. We're here, season two. Nothing much new. Here's so here's here's the gist. All right, we're gonna look for a new center back. I already got the guy I want. He's gonna be on my. Uh, he's already in my shortlist. Actually, I didn't know. I was going to go for this guy, but we're going to go for him. We're going to go with Roger Ibe Ibanez. Ibe Ibanez. He is uh, going to be a decent a decent player. He's going to be the replacement of Paulista. So, last episode, we were in Season 1. This is Season 2, guys, so we're going to get into it. So, in Season 2, I want to go ahead and get these transfers in. We want to get good transfers, big transfers. We want to be the best in Spain. Now, he's going to help us grow a lot, a ton. So, if we can get him into a cheap deal... Then I would be really, really proud. Twenty-seven thousand. They're gonna go ahead and accept that. Roma FC. Yes, sir. We're gonna go ahead and accept that. He is going to be a star player. I could see it happening. So here we go. And uh, as our goal, uh, as our uh, as our manager. So we're gonna make him an important. I'm not sure if he's gonna want crucial. He's gonna want crucial. All right, it's fine with me. Uh, because he's gonna be playing. He's gonna be starting. He's basically Paulista's replacement. He is Brazilian too, so that does help us a lot. I do not want to add a release clause. So he wants this and that. All right. Now, as you guys can see, we have a lot of cash with us, and we sold two players, but one of them wasn't really worth a lot. Only one who was worth a lot was Ibenes, who is actually gonna go ahead and look at that. Bam! He's got the kit. He's already gonna wear that Valencia kit. I want to get myself a Valencia kit. I'm telling you, I love Spain kits, bro. Uh, the thing is with me, you already know I'm into like a lot of Spanish, um, Sp Spanish aka Spain like teams. I even got my own Spain jersey. I'm not even Sp I'm not even Spanish. <laughs> I'm not even from Spain, but I really I like supporting you know teams from them from there. So look at this, Babam Ibanez. I'm not saying I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, Ibanez, but he's gonna be our first transfer to Valencia, and Valencia, uh, I mean. That's going to be a good one, a good transfer, I think, in my opinion. He's going to grow more, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Paulista, it was at 84 before, or 85. But, you know, of course, he's old. he was a little bit old, so he was starting to lose rating um, already. Now, Valencia, in real life, they aren't struggling this season. They are in 10th, a decent finish, but last season they were... Ninth, okay, but you know, they haven't hit competition, European competition in a while. So, hoping this season could be a different one, you know. Um, either way, let's go ahead and continue. My bad, all right. So, that's going to be a great, great way, all right. So, but bam, okay, this is going to be the squad. Ibenez is the starting center back now, and we're going to have to put him in developmental role, a new developmental role. So everybody here has um a a way to let me see. Okay, we're gonna get that weak foot up. We really gotta get that weak foot up. Uh let me just switch the music. I do not like this music. Alright. Uh because I have music playing at the same time. Oh wait, we could no, I can't, I kinda want him to grow fast. We could get his physical up too. I, I would really like that. He does seem like a really, really good player for the future. As well, and he's gonna be with no Nomad. Is his name? I forgot. Lemon Nomad. There's other center back we have. I forgot where is, is he? We signed no Zubeldia. Zubeldia. Yeah, Zubeldia who is a decent center back too. So these two will grow together, and that's all we got. We really got to hope between these two. Um, but the thing is, we also want to. So we have enough money to get ourselves someone better. Now, look. We c I don't want to upgrade. I want to keep Musa. Musa is a good player in career mode. Muriba is going to be a good player too, but I would like to upgrade that position if I can. But I do really want to get this defensive back really, really good. I'm going to keep Lino. We are going to 100% keep Lino. He had a great season last season. Now, I do want to get a new striker. It'd be cool, but I want to see what Duro could do this season. It's going to be his season this time. But I think the best thing we could really upgrade, I don't want to get a new CDM yet. I'm going to give Verge one more season. But... I want to get a new right back. I, this Correa guy, he's good, but I don't know. I feel like we can get someone better um, in that center in that right back position. Now, the thing is, who can we sign for that right back position? Um, there is a lot of options, so we got to look into that. Now, is there like a, a specific rating I want to go with, like a Spanish? Do I want to go Spanish? I think for me personally, I would just go for whoever... Um, 
pops my eye out, like, to grow. Someone who can grow um, in a decent amount of a, of a player, I guess you could say. Um, though it's the only player, I can't even think of anybody <laughs> to really uh, have here. We want someone who's decent. Maybe we could go someone Spanish. Yeah, we could go someone Spanish. We could go someone mm, a different country. I don't know. I really want. I'm looking through, or we could go for another Portuguese guy. I do not want to go for another Portuguese guy. Um, the only player I do see that does catch my eye would be someone expensive. Oh, Hakimi. I don't want to say Hakimi. Um, let me go ahead and put RWB two. Because I'm looking at Sophie for my bad. Because, yes, I would ask for suggestions at this point. But, you know, we're trying to figure out some. Pedro Poro would be a cool one, too. But I feel like I've used him. I've used him before, yes. Um, there is... Hmm. This is a hard option. Because we want to get someone for that would be good for the future, definitely. Who can help us grow as well. Um, and I think I'm going to... There is... Okay, I think I've decided... Who to go with? Maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, Correra is this uh, right back we have. He does have decent potential, though. So, I'm, okay, we'll give the right back one more season. Let's actually try something else. I think we go for another striker, okay? Hear me out. So, our striker, our striker situation is looking good. I think what we could do... So, hear me out. We could fix something out figure something out so i want to go like two strikers two striker formation so if i can i'm gonna go ahead and two striker so two strikers uh a two striker formation will be cool so if i can like have a striker right here have the cd cm cdm and then the so like a four two four something like that four two four that would be like that's what i'm like kind of looking for so a four two four 424 formation there you go that's basically what i'm looking for and i guess you could say so what we look for into this the bam we put in burge here it's gonna be a little bit of a weird formation cdm nicholas gonzalez how about nah, i don't want to put him at the camp position I think I don't know if I messed this up. CM. Okay, maybe it's not gonna work out. No, no, no it's not gonna work out. Okay, it's not gonna work out. Um, hmm. Cause I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to really keep Moriba here. You know, I, I don't know if Moriba would fit. We have Rasic as well, or we could go for an upgrade on Moriba. Like Moriba, he had a good season last season. Don't get me wrong, but. I don't know. It's something. Something's up. We can, we gotta go for some upgrades. We want to go for upgrades on players. Moriba, he's an exciting prospect. Uh, b between Rasic and Moriba, Moriba would probably grow more than uh Ras Rasic Rakicic. I, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Um, yeah, I think so. So what I think I might do is, if it's possible, I'm going to go ahead and get like a swamp position on um. How do I say this? We're gonna to try to swamp out um what's his name? <laughs> um Rasic. Rasic? I'm not saying I'm not sure if I'm even saying his name right. Rakasic? Rakasic? Okay. So who would I switch him out for though? We need someone that's a good C CM. So could probably grow. We'll have a decent season for us. And yeah, basically he's just for the future. Uh for Valencia. I don't know any players I could think of right now. Now, depending on how much money we end up having by the end of the season, too, is going to, like, determine a lot. I would like to sell Cavani, but Cavani's actually retiring after the season. Um, there is one player I could, I, could think, I could think of who I actually have actually wanted to use in a career mode for a while. It is Bruno Guimaraes, uh playing for Newcastle. Hey, another Brazilian player. Don't get me wrong. Now, the thing is, hear me out. I do want to sign someone like Nicolas Gonzalez. Maybe. You know what? If I can get Nicolas Gonzalez. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Because I think I could get Nicolas Gonzalez. Nicolas Gonzalez at the right winger position. And we can get Patrick. Oh, my God. I really want to get Patrick Schick. 
But I want to. I really want to go for Bruno Guimaraes. So we're gonna go for Bruno Guimaraes. Yeah, he is a player who's going to help us. Who's gonna really fit into the squad? We give them. Oh my god! I remember this guy was kind of like a little bit of a wonder kid back in the last FIFA. So let's go 30 mil for Strakic. Derek's willing to accept, but they want 54 mil. I feel like we can get a little bit something lower, like 45, 800. They want 50 mil this time. Uh, I want to see if I can go save a little bit more. 47, 300. How about we? How about we talk that? They're like, yep. All right. That's gonna be really, really good. I know this is gonna be a great transfer. A really good swap deal, don't get me wrong. We're signing a player from Newcastle. Newcastle United have been killing it in the Premier League in real life. Second place. Second place. All right, we got to go with a crucial role. I've never used this guy in a career mode, bro. Five years. Five years. All right, release clause. 100. Let's go 100. Let's go 100. There you go. <laughs> Gimenez. Bro, this was actually probably our top transfer of the season. Hey, if I can get Gimenez, a great, this is an upgrade for the squad. I kind of want to go for Nicolas Gonzalez. It's going, Nicolas Gonzalez and Musa. Now, Musa is great. Don't get me wrong. But he's not, I mean, we want to like kind of like go for it. We really want to push for a title. Like, he could really become a good bench player, don't get me wrong. But if we could get Nicolas Gonzalez, that would be really, really great. Look at that. Bruno G. Oh, my God, bruh. Oh, my God. That is the, the transfer probably of the season. Bro, Newcastle. Hey, Newcastle, I know y'all signed him in real life. But, hey, he's going to be something for the future. Now, get this Mar Mark Roca out. Get Lindelof out. These are the two players I really have my eye on. And look at that. There he is in the Valencia um, squad, bro. Oh, my God. And then we could take him out. We could take out Moriba. This is what I like. And Lino, we're keeping Lino, bro. Don't get me wrong. Lino had the best season that season. We have a lot of Brazilian players. I really realized that. We have a lot of good Brazilian core. And that's really good. Um, but like I said, we want to get that right winger. Uh, Musa is 79 rated though. I do. I could see Musa becoming better though. Um, I could see Patrick Schick doing better, um, for us. So let me see a couple things. Now, let me check out a player. So Nicholas Gonzalez, we're 49 mil. He's at, at that, at that rating. Let's check out Musa. And see how he's growing. So Musa is a right mid, showing great potential. He is worth 25 mil, basically half of what they're worth. Um, get that weak foot up. Hey, I don't know, man. Yunus Musa could be, could still have some star core into this. We don't have a backup right winger. He could become that backup right winger. Um, but you know, Lino literally, he he became a top G. I do not want to resign. What the heck? Come on. Did not want to do that. This is one of the episodes, by the way, where we basically... Um, how do I say this? Basically, we just focus on the squad a little bit. And I could go on the skill moves a little bit better. We do want to make that shooting better. That shooting is actually better. So I think I'm going to keep it at the developmental plan already. Because he's already, he, he literally was like the top goal scorer. He was literally topper. Top. Topper. Top than um, Cavani. Uh, okay. So, Patrick Schick. And Nicholas Gonzalez. Ah, man. It's just hard. I, I really want to go for Nicholas Gonzalez. How much money do we have actually left? I do want to check that. We have 80 mil to work with. Okay, look. I could say Patrick Schick for next season. I, do, I literally could. I think we go for Nicholas Gonzalez. Try to see... If he, if we can work something out, like, we only have two wingers. Okay, so, Patrick Schick. Okay, for, okay, Hugo Doodle is 36 mil. Cavani is in the, okay. So, this is where we actually got to, um, let's just go for a simple 41 mil. Let's see what they talk. Can we talk? 62 mil. They, they're speaking... A little bit more, a little bit pricey. They want to be a little bit more pricey with this. 49 mil, 58 mil. Uh, they, they are really seeming a little bit pricey. Let's go with... 
40 let's go 48 mil save i need to save some cash come on they want to think about this one okay Patrick Schick, I think I think that's going to be what we'll do for Schick. So we've kind of decided the plans for the season. We'll just keep it for Schick, but I think we got to upgrade that position for um um what's his name? Impaz, they're speaking forty nine mil. I'm gonna accept that forty nine mil. Let's get to some negotiations and get this guy into the squad. Like, look at it. Okay, I want to see how this team grows now. This is going to be an interesting season. This season is going to be one of our most interesting ones. Are we saying rotation? He wants to be crucial. We'll t we could speak on that crucial role. Okay, four-year deal. Let's go five-year deal. But ba bam, yes, sir. Disregard. No, 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 no. He thinks he's going to be. He's going to be nice. I, I, hey, you never know. Okay, remove that bonus. Submit the offer. What are we saying? He's going to go ahead and accept that. But ba bam, Gonzalez. Welcome, Nicholas Gonzalez. We have Nico. And Nicholas Gonzalez, bro, the Gonzalez's, hey, they're going to ru rule over the, uh, the, are they going to rule over Spain? They probably will, but look at this, there he is, Nicholas Gonzalez. Yo, this is a, this is probably one of the top transfers out here, I mean, he's no messy, but, you know, you don't know, you don't know. Nicholas Gonzalez, he is his potential, he has good potential to see, but he used to have, he, he used to not have the best. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Nicholas Gonzalez, welcome. Alright. 82 reading. Yo, best transfer I think we can get. Nicholas Gonzalez, I'm going to accept it. I don't even know how much I asked. I think I offered 48 mil, but look, best transfer we got in so far. All right, look, this transfer window, we actually did good. All right, I think that's all the transfers I'm going to go for this season. Mosa, you're going to the bench. It's all fine. Uh, Nicholas, are you playing right winger? You're playing right winger, don't get me wrong. Uh, Mosa, you can still play right winger if you can. Switch your position. Lino, bam. bam. So, this is going to be this season. I'm better see more wins than losses, okay? Because I saw too many losses. I don't think that we're in this current mode we're going to be using our Yump Academy player because he's not growing at all. Okay, so let's get uh, Bruno G a um, a developmental plan. I'm going to give him the... Get that skill move up. That is all, yeah. And um, let's go ahead and give our boy, not, not Cavani, uh, Nicholas Gonzalez, a, a a plan as well. Look at that weak foot up. Weak foot's going to work. Uh, anyone else we want to get up? Uh, let's get this guy up as well. All right. Six feet, 16. Okay. And uh, I think I'll be fine. I don't want to really deal with these guys. Cavani, I can't deal with really because he's going to start losing rating either ways. All right. So, I mean, when we get to our first game is when the episode ends. Because we don't play the first game in these type of episodes. Fukir is going to go ahead and get a transfer offer to right back. We didn't sell, but we could sell for 7 mil. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to reject it because we don't have a backup right back, really. We still have the, uh, the right back from the Portuguese right back guy, Correra. I was thinking about Angel Correra. This is guy. This is the career back we were thinking about. Uh, we're going to keep him, though. I, I, I think I'm going to give him... I, I, I got to keep... I keep cutting him slack. He got potential to be good, okay? Uh, he's getting another offer from Real Betis. We're going to go ahead and continue. I don't care. Uh, but bam, let's continue. Correa offer. Okay. All right, let's just skip through these. We win. Okay, we're see. We're winning, winning. All right, we're winning against those clubs. It's really good. So, I do want to check our rating into this. Las Palmas, South America. We didn't win. Okay, it's whatever. Even though we won two games. Coin or okay, he's getting another loan offer. We're gonna accept it. He he's gonna go for it. Hey. Right. Calendar, how's it looking like? Okay, so we got Girona as our first game of the season. I think we're going to simulate I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. Okay, so there is one thing I do want to check out. It's the team sheet. So this is how you check a fun fact, this is how you check your, your team's rating. So you just go to 
with Spain. We are a four and a half star team. I think we're still at the same. It says everyone's like a 79, 79. I think it should be our defense should be slightly getting a little bit better. Um, our best player is Guimeres, of course. Uh, Duro is our best is our striker. I'm hoping he grows this season. Okay, this has to be Duro's season to grow. Guillemon, Hugo du Guillemon, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Guillemon, do we want to keep Guillemon? He's our backup CDM. He is older than. Uh, no, he is younger than Sander Burge. I don't want to sell him, bro. Let's go with that. Bam. He's keeping. He's staying. All right. I don't want to sell Gulimon. Yeah. Josada. So loan offer. Let's go ahead and accept this because I, I don't I really don't care about these uh these lower rated players right now. All right. So what are we saying? Josada. Let's go ahead and accept that. He's getting a loan deal for Spieza. Spieza going for that two year loan. That's fine with me. Let's go ahead and continue. But bam, we're gonna go ahead and I think that's that loan deal. Oh, it's the first guy. Coin Coindria. Coindridia. Okay. Almeida. Andre Almeida, okay. Um he's going he, PSV have offered the have triggered the release clause for him. I need to figure out which player it is. Almeida. CM PSV. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and accept it. Yeah, we're gonna accept it. 16 mil. Can we act? Is he, what's his worth though? I need to see. 16 mil. Yeah, go for it. PSV. They want to go ahead and trigger the clause. If we have enough, we could. We'll see how, where that 16 mil lands us. Okay. I'd really want to see where that 16 mil was gonna land us. Terega, Terega, loan offer, van. Okay. That is our star player right there. That's got to be our future star player. It's the one player I really am. Interest in Schick. Okay, someone's actually interested in him. All right, so, 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 Hosada to Burnley. Okay, he's going to go ahead and accept that deal. Loaned out. That's fine with me. All right, inbox. What are you saying? Interest in uh, Atletico de Madrid. Oh, my God. No way, bro. Musa transfer offer to Spurs. Yeah, for Royale. Emerson, no, thank you. Should have stayed at Barcelona when he got that, that clause triggered. Uh, Stain's loan offer. Let's go ahead and accept that. We're just going to accept most of these loan offers. I don't know why. Um, and then it looks like... Oh, yeah. This is the guy who's going to PSV. Oh, no. It's Tarega. Okay. Desert Tarega is going to... Um, oh, no, no. He is actually going. 16 mil and 100 at P uh, 100. Okay. Inbox, what do we say? Uh, Terega loaned out uh, to Spieza Almiera. Uh, Andre Almiera. Hi, boss. Yes, we're working out. Wait, what do you mean you're complaining? We actually got, you know, don't, won't, won't complain. Okay, Gimet is already going up a rating. Yeah, he's going to be the player we had to talk about a lot in this series, man. Uh, I don't know. We're going to play our first game in the next episode. We'll play Girona next episode. Uh, next episode, what are you guys expecting? Well, we'll expect Girona, Atletico Madrid, yes, we'll expect them, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to expect, really. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, be a part of Angry Nation. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Valencia Karuma. Peace out. Bye.